Our next guest is a three-time Grammy-nominated singer, and now this soulful crooner is celebrating the release of his fifth studio album, Love, Sex, Passion. Here to tell us about the project, he's calling his, quote, most sophisticated erotic bedroom joint is Raheem Devon. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> How are you? Raheem, great to have you here. Let's talk about the album title, Love, Sex, Passion. Seems like all the ingredients that make for a, a good relationship. Yeah, I think, you know, whether it's something you're trying to create plutonically or, you know, long-term intimacy, you know, you have to have those elements, love, sex, and passion, you know, and I think... Wait, for platonic, you're Plut gonna have sex in there well, too? Well, 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 well <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get to that point, you know, it's to friends get to the point. Friends with benefits, this yeah, is what we're talking with the, you about, know, right? You know, everyone's kind of dating now and kicking it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, whatever the process is, um, this album, this album is, you know, the, the bare essential, the soundtrack to that, you know? Mm, so are you saying there's yeah. going to be a lot of babies born and oh, yeah, conceived re, the, with this soundtrack? <laughs> re, rebirth of the baby boom era for sure, definitely. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you actually call this your most sophisticated erotic bedroom joint ever. Why do you say that? You know, because when you're talking about love, you talk about intimacy and sex, I, I, you know, it's always, my, it's always a challenge for me. Mm. I want it to be tasteful. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want it to come off as crass or raunchy or anything mm -hmm. of that nature. So, you know, it's definitely very poetic. It's a very poetic album. I think um, there's, you know, definitely uh, a, a lot of erotic, you know, in your windows and whatnot. And um, it's kind of, you know, kind of being coined as the Christian Grey of R&B right about now. Mm. So were any of the songs written about a particular person or situation in your life? Um, de definitely, you know, I wear it on my sleeve. There, there are certain songs on this album and throughout my career that I'm definitely more, you know, personal and attached to. And there's yeah. other, you know, and then there are other songs that I live vicariously through, you know, my peers, or it could be a situation, it could be a movie, mm -hmm. it could be anything that kind of sparks an idea for a, for a record on the, on the album. Yeah, now you say it has a 90s spin, the mm -hmm. album does, but it also has a futuristic sound yeah, as definitely. well. You've combined both. How? I feel I feel like, you know, next to like the, the 70s, you know, for me personally, as a person that enjoys music, you know, Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder and all these greats, these legends, uh, I feel like the 90s was other, but we're taking one well, band out. Yeah, we're taking one band out. Uh, you know, it's going to be an honor to, to, to tour with Lita, with Lila and 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 Lettucey. You know, it's 23 cities already confirmed. Wow. Um, you know, get your tickets on Ticketmasters.com. I just got the word that the Jersey show was sold out. In fact, so wow, you may already. have to add some other shows and and, and whatnot. But um, definitely coming to a city near you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got to ask you about your opinion of the whole uh, Grammy controversy with mm -hmm. Beyonce performing Legacy's mm -hmm. song from Selma, since you're, you're going to be you know, with I think, I, I, think, um, I think it would have been noble, you know, for maybe for, for, for B to say, hey, let, bring her out or, or let her do, you know, let her do the, let her do the song. But in, in Beyonce's defense as well, who knows, maybe she didn't even know about the situation, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I know what it is to be an artist and for things not to be communicated as they should. I think that they're both phenomenal artists. Uh, I think the fact that, you know, the fact that this tour is selling out everywhere is a testament to, you know, how dope Lettucey is and, you know, and with the success of Beyonce and what she does and how dope she is. And I think that, um, you know, ultimately when God has something planned for you, <clears throat> that's, 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 when it, that's, that's when it happens, you know what I mean? We keep it moving and, um, can't cry over spilled milk. All right. Well, Shake since it. the concert's been sold out in New Jersey, you're going to have to get us some backstage pass or something. Oh, we hook we'll it work up. that out, right? We <laughs> sure, okay, we'll sure. be there then. All right. And until then, Love, Sex, Passion is available in stores now, so make sure you check it out. And we'll be right back with more Rise 360.